Hello, everybody. Um, I feel kind of weird filming. I haven't filmed like this in a couple days. I had some stuff pre-filmed, so I haven't really had to film. And I work today, and as we saw the first week, we know how my work week goes. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. I just got home just after five o'clock. Today was my long day. I just got home and I don't have a video ready for tomorrow. So, or the next day or the day after that. So I thought I would show you guys and yes, this is totally a desperate attempt for footage because I have nothing else. And this is what daily vlogs are about life. So I wanted to show you guys um, a barbecue chicken that I make. So super simple, so easy, so yummy, and I'm just gonna throw it together real quick. So if you don't have one of these things, what are you doing? It's 2019. Most people have the Instapot brand, but I prefer this one because the Instapot has like 30 different buttons. This one has three. I can just push it to whatever and then I push again, I normally do on high temperature. And then you add the time. And then you just hit start. So what I'm gonna put in there is this bag of frozen chicken breast I get from Kroger. It's like, it's anywhere from like six to nine dollars, just depending. It's literally so simple to make it. I'm literally just gonna pour this into the pressure cooker. And that's it. I literally poured the entire bag in there and then I add a cup of water just to make sure that it's moist. Um, because it's frozen it probably gives off enough water but I just want to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. You put the lid on, you lock it. I normally don't do all this first. I normally do it after I put the lid on. I make sure the pressure valve is covered this way. That means it's closed. This means it's open. So you make sure that it's closed so that the pressure will stay in there. And then for chicken breasts I do a half hour um, but for a whole chicken for like a three or four pound chicken um, I do an hour. So. so yeah so while that cooks I'm gonna go take a shower and kind of clean up after work um, and then Alex should be home by the time this is done and then I'll show you what I put in it. It's done. I normally just grab an oven mitt and do one of these numbers. So when it's done hissing at you, it unlocks. And it's all done. See how much lower? It, oops, my bad. So anyway, so it got much lower because it all cooked through. Um, so what I do is I just kind of take them out simple one by one and put it in my mixing bowl I mix sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce with honey it makes it sweeter it makes it the barbecue sauce a little thinner um, and just not as spicy so it's more of a sweet barbecue so I put the chicken in my little mixing bowl I love this little I think it's a Tupperware mixing bowl. It's literally the best thing ever. I have a lid for it, so if I mix something, I just put the lid over and put it in the fridge if we don't use it all. What I do is instead of sitting there with a fork and separating every piece of chicken, I use my mixer and it goes so much quicker and honestly, I think it shreds it better than anything. So it's not like a full, like just barbecue chicken. It's like a shredded barbecue chicken. And it literally just like falls apart. Like it's so moist. There's just, I love, I love the pressure cooker. So that's what it looks like afterwards. Sorry I didn't show you guys while I mixed it. I needed two hands to do it. And I wanted to mention that you don't want to mix it too high, just like on the low setting, maybe the second setting up. Um, but because if you put it on high, it's gonna literally chicken all over the kitchen. I did it on low and I still got a few pieces um, to the side, so yeah. So I don't measure any of this. I just kind of pour, and when I think it looks good, um, that's probably like a cup, cup and a half. My mom always taught me to cover the top of whatever you're cooking in with like salt and pepper. So I just kind of follow that rule. I added a little bit more barbecue sauce and honey, not a whole lot, um, just to kind of 
fix it. But yeah, that's what it looks like when it's done. I normally, I'll just put it on our plates and then I put a little mozzarella cheese over top of it and it's good just like that. It'd be good if you wanted to put it in like tortillas or tacos or on buns. Yeah, really anything. But this is how we like to eat it because we don't, I don't normally buy bread. Ta-da! So that's the final product. I just put some mozzarella on top of it. And we're paper plating it tonight because I don't feel like doing dishes. So yeah. Sorry if this was a boring one. Um, but if you liked it, I'm glad you liked it. Um, try it out. Try it in your own barbecue sauce. See if you like it. I'm not a tutorial channel. Don't claim to be. So yeah, so we're going to eat and... Sorry if this is a short one, but I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.